Well, folks, it's time to take another pop along to the cantina bar. And we have here two figures from two different kind of uh, lines or series. We have Pons Limic from the Legacy Collection. And we have Bum Vimdin from the uh, Vintage Collection. Now, look at that. You know, there's Pond there, get giving it all. Get, hey, look at me, man. Look at that. Look at that. Mocking. Mocking poor Bomber. Yeah, who's like stuck in a little slippery bubble. But I do love the retro aspect of the Vintage Collection very much like this this to me is oh very nice and remember if it doesn't say kenna on the box it's uh hasbro in the box something like that. but look at this ponds comes with all sorts of stuff here man he's got this stuff he's got a a leg of a droid and all sorts of other Ooh, look at them cool toys man i want them all i want them all all of them all of them even even all of them and on the back of this one, there's uh, there's nothing. There's just writing. <sighs> so disappointing. So let's get these opened up and have a look at the figures. They look very nice. I'll get them in HD too. Look. HD TV. Oh, Pons. Look at how unhappy he looks. <laughs> He's uh, Not that it's good to focus. Yes, he looks so unhappy, but he's doing the finger dance. Look, he... boop, 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 uh, I do like the fact that his top's all sort of jiggly jaggedy, kind of uh, spiky spike. And he comes with a couple of accessories. He comes with a glass of blue milk. He comes with a little pistol. And he comes with this nice raffle. Very nice. I like the brown bit on it. So it's very cool. Now let's get Pons out and pack it. Now then, this accessory took some assembling, and it looks like one of those kind of really heavy sort of uh, stools you get in, like McDonald's or pubs and stuff. So like really quite <coughs> type of thing. It also looks like a bit like the end of a pipe bomb. And his pawns. Now then, he's quite loose, like not slack. I mean, obviously you can sort of you can hold that for oh I don't know ten minutes maybe. But uh, it's it's rather loose. He goes there though, a bit loose. Oh, he's still good. He's tangly, tingly, tangly. Uh, but he is a bit loose. But it is not too bad. But <coughs> could be worse. Uh, bless you, Bonds. <laughs> uh, and like I say, this this did require some assembly. Um, luckily, having bought things from IKEA, I'm quite happy to make flat pack toy furniture. There we are. He stands on there quite nicely, and he comes with a sort of a droopy plaster. Not all blasters of this toy will be droopy, but this one does sort of suffer from uh, droopiness. I'm trying to think of another word for droopiness. Don't really think there is one, is there? No. And then it comes with this uh, sort of R2 unit, or R3 unit, or a unit leg. It has a wheel on the bottom, so I can make it do a little healy. Thingy me jiggy, uh, there was something else I was going to say, but it's gone completely blank. Um, oh, that was it. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 oh, sorry, mate. The, one of the things that I do like about this toy is it kind of also reminds me of my friend, Boshak71, because uh, a while back, myself and Boshak got talking and, you know, he kind of just sent us a list of, of figures he was after and things like that. And this was, I think, one of the first ones I found for him. And I found it up in Inverness in Scotland. Uh, not that they talk like that in Inverness in Scotland. Uh, unless it's the Nessie. The Nessie might talk like that, wouldn't it? Although it probably sound more like... Type of thing. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you all later on.